from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Plans for a new self-storage facility in Glen Allen are on hold. And recapping a town hall meeting held by the school division. We'll tell you about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Friday, February 2nd, 2024. It's brought to you today by Miracles in Motion. And now for the news. A proposal that would allow construction of a self-storage facility and retail shops at the corner of Mountain and Woodman Roads in Glen Allen will not be heard by the Henrico Board of Supervisors until at least April 9th. The project's applicant, General Land Company, LLC, requested and received a deferral of the case from the board's January 23rd meeting when it had been scheduled to be heard. The group wants to rezone about eight and a half acres at the southwest corner of the intersection to build a three-story, 105,000 square foot storage facility and about an 11,000 square foot retail center with a drive through location, but some neighbors believe that the residential character of the area makes it inappropriate for commercial development. The Planning Commission recommended approval of the project. You can read more about it right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. School security, student mental health, parent engagement, and affordable after-school opportunities were among the topics discussed by Henrico parents, teachers, and even a few students at the Henrico School Board's town hall meeting on January 30th. Parents praised the new security measures that the school division has put into place this year, including weapon scanners being placed at all middle and high schools so far, and 75 new school security officers added. Some also applauded the expansion of the career and technical education program in the county, and others said they wanted to see more after-school and extracurricular programming at all school levels, as well as the elimination of barriers that kept students from being involved, like affordability, transportation, and scheduling. Hey, you can read more from our recap of this meeting from our education reporter, Leanna Hardy, right now on our website. Henrico County Public Schools will hold clinics at each middle school and high school this winter to provide required vaccines for students who will be entering 7th or 12th grade in the coming school year. To enroll students in the public school system, parents must ensure that they have up-to-date immunizations for their age. Meningococcal conjugate vaccine is required for all students entering grades 7 and 12. Immunization clinics will begin February 9th at Freeman High School and continue through May 17th at Moody Middle School. We've got a complete list of the dates and times as well as locations right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. Henrico Police yesterday confirmed that they had found the remains of a county man who was missing for more than seven months. The remains of Scott McConnell, 56, were found near where he lived in Henrico's West End off Holly Hill Road in the Tuckahoe District. There was no indication of foul play, according to police. McConnell had last been heard from sometime in June. A former House of Delegates candidate, Susanna Gibson, who lost the general election in November to Republican David Owen, Yesterday announced the formation of a new political action committee named My Own. Gibson said she created the PAC to support candidates dedicated to legislative reform related to gender-based and sexual violence, in particular non-consensual pornography and non-consensual distribution of intimate images, among other related topics. Gibson's campaign was rocked last fall after a consensual sex video she made with her husband and streamed privately, later was published on other public websites without their knowledge or permission. Gibson said her new PAC is nonpartisan, will be committed to advocating for the right to intimate privacy, autonomy, and agency over one's body. In three-term Henrico delegate Skylar Van Valkenburg made the jump up to the Virginia Senate in November, defeating Shaban Donovan to earn the 16th district Senate seat. And today on HenricoCitizen.com, we check in with him after the first few weeks he spent in the Senate. You can read that Q&A right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. And as always, if you're looking for something to do around town this weekend, check out our weekend top five online. We've got a list of five great things that will be happening in and around Henrico County this weekend. We hope you have a great one. 
Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Miracles in Motion, special needs dance studio, which is seeking dancers and volunteers of all ages to participate in their new dance season. Visit miraclesinmotionva.org for more information on this fascinating program that provides a fun, safe place for people with special needs to shine. Miracles in Motion provides quality dance instruction to the special needs community. That website again is miraclesinmotionva.org. Come dance with us.